Okay, I'm done with my Dentron MLA 2500s. Um, picked up at Dayton Hamvention um, last year. Um, finally got to them. Um, the tubes work on both of them, except they're somewhat soft. They're not putting out what they want, what they should, but they're putting out. So I'm fairly happy with that. Um, both had a lot of uh, glitches and stuff that needed work, you know. Uh, dirty re relays, um, dirty band switch. Actually, we took the band switch out of that one. It's a mono banded, and this one has the f full ham band stuff in it. Um, replaced the caps on both of them, and uh, there was a few other things that were wrong with them. But we got them both going, and we had, when we were in the process of working on it, we were on Facebook. We asked a couple questions about them, and. Uh, I need to leave Facebook alone because you get um, some smart and I don't know what other word to say right now dumb answers um, um, this one is a MLA 2500 the original one and this one is a MLA 2500B um, so I got a manual a complete manual with parts and everything on the MLA 2500 didn't have a manual for the B I got a schematic but I don't have a parts manual and the difference between the MLA 2500 according to the manual and schematics is that um, this one has um, only one tap for the high voltage for the transformer Hence that on um, CW, which is low, and um, SSB, which would be high on it, it's still using the same voltage. And basically with the original MLA 2500, they upped the, span, the fan speed. And they called it, you know, continuous duty because the, the fan and the blower is blowing very loud. Continuously on CW or continuous and you put it on SSB um, the only thing it changed is it lowered the, the fan because it's really annoying to have a fan going that much during SSB so it lowered the fan but it's got a sensor on it where if the uh, tubes get to a certain temperature it'll up the fan you know if necessary where with the MLA 2500B it's got two taps for the high voltage the high voltage runs about 1800 volts on um, low and about 2250 2300 on high and also the um, B model they use two different uh, negative bias zener zeners for the negative bias um, in the circuitry you know one for high and one for low and I saw the zener in the schematic if you see it circled there um, CR1 and CR2 both of those are Zener diodes um, I never could find out what the voltage rating for CR2 was both of those in this one were shorted and one the markings were rubbed off so I asked the know-it-alls on Facebook hey you know anybody know the voltage for um, CR2 and everybody said hey you idiot there aren't two diodes in there is you know one voltage and one diode which this is the schematic for the uh, 2500 non B and as you can see there circle is one diode so the people are telling me you dummy there is no you know it must be a a, a a hack or something there's only uh, one diode in there and I'm like that's not true I'm looking at the thing it's got you know um, two diodes in the amplifier look factory and if you look at the B schematic um, there are two zeners in it but anyway so much for the Facebook dummies and over here circled again is the plate transformer and you see the um, bottom of the circle or toward the bottom the two taps on the high voltage for you know your high tap and your low tap for the uh, plate um, voltage on the transformer and over here on the non B model as you can see there is no um, well third tap second tap whatever you want to call it it's just your you know two regular taps there's no high and low tap on it so 
um, people were referencing, you know, this one with the single taps and the single dial, you know, and I was asking them about this one and I specifically said that, that, hey, the B model I'm working on here has the two diodes and the two taps and they're like, ah, you don't know what you're talking about. So anyway, um, there it is in the schematic. Um, so I don't know, who am I? Um, so that's the main major difference between the B. This one has two taps high and low it to start out at 18 and uh, on low and 25 2300 on high but one of the crazy things I found out about this one it doesn't match the schematic totally either this one does have the transformer with the two taps on it for high and low and it does change the voltages on CW and um, um, high which would be SSV just like this one was even though it has one diode so i guess you know dentron like some other companies just kind of you know change production runs and you know it, it doesn't quite match the schematic you know this one matches the schematic of the b but this one is like half 2500 non-b and half b on it um and then this one i left all the uh band switch and ham band stuffs in it and this one has been mono banded but we're going to do this one later because this one is not hooked up. This one is. So we're going to turn it on. And if you notice the plate voltmeter, um, right now it's about uh, 1600 volts on this thing, right? Um, and it's got a time delay in it that it makes sure that the tubes are warmed up before the ready light comes on and it won't let you key it down so that's one thing to save these tubes and these tubes are very expensive in these almost unobtainium so I think they're 8875s um, in them but one thing I didn't mention I don't think in in running a linear amplifier if it's got a high and low and it changes the voltage like this one and that one um, when you turn it on Make sure it's on low, on the low tap, because that's a, a, like a poor man's way of self-start. And while we're waiting for it to warm up, it takes 90 seconds, you know, for it to warm up. Um, these amplifiers don't have a per se um, slow start. I think I said self-start in it, but a slow start or soft start in them, um, these things. It's just basic amplifier, you know, transformer, the high voltage just kicked in and it's up to 2300 and the ready light came on so um, but it's basic amplifier transformer power supply uh, the one thing it does have is that tube there is a time delay tube where that tube has to warm up you know before to kick in and turn the rest of the circuits on so it does have that and the way they use it is like a poor man's soft start because it automatically kicks it on the low side even though it's on high side right now but you know as I showed earlier when you turn it on before it's warmed up it was on the low tap and it was you know kicking out about 1800 volts so that's a poor man's soft start it's not the greatest soft start in the world to do that but it does you know limit some of the surge or some of the voltage coming in being on the low tap so if you're running an amp and it's got high low when you turn it on, especially if it doesn't have soft start in it, but I would say recommend even if it does, um, start it up on low. You know, wait for the, everything to warm up and, and and get good, and then you know uh, switch it to high. Uh, that's better for the amplifier, uh, lasts longer. That way, less surges going on. So anyway, that's what these things run on about um, about twenty three hundred volts, give or take on high yeah let's go back to low that vote is just slowly draining down it'll go back down about 1800 on it and the schematics for the 2500 show that um it's supposed to be just one tap on this one and if you watch some videos of some other ones with the 2500 you hit a fan running really loud on low because you know that's the difference but this is you know doesn't match either of the schematics on this one so we're gonna key down this one because we didn't want to make it uh, too long we're running um, 
that um, JB76 dialed down to about 50 watts this going into I'm dead keen about 10 swinging to 50 so we're not kicking it hard at all I want to savor this guy with the tubes and all that um, and we're on the 2000 watt scale and we're just gonna do the driver right now we're not keying the amplifier just to show what the uh, JB76 is doing hello 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 barely going to 50 actually I want to reach over and put it on the 200 watt scale carefully again just the driver Dead keen about eight audio 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 <whistles> only swinging to about 40 and that's what we're gonna dump into this thing um, these amps use a foot switch to key it down so I'm gonna keep my foot switch first and you see very little drop in the um, plate voltage. It's just got new um, upgraded caps in the thing. Um, let's put it on plate current right quick. There. And you see the plate current go up just a little bit. Uh, we got those uh, Zeners bias in there. So, um, And last, we're going to put it back on plate volts. And we gotta key it down and we're gonna put some drive in it this time. And that's the watt meter audio, audio. <whistles> Only showing about 230 on that watt meter. But that's because that watt meter ain't gonna show you a lot of swing with that, you know, average wheat meter. Here we got this meter on RMS, you know, calibrated to a bird. And we're dead keen, 100 audio. Talking about 450 audio, audio. <whistles> Whistling to about six and a quarter on average. And last, we're going to put it on peak. Audio, audio, audio. Audio, audio, talking about 900 peak. Audio, audio, audio. <whistles> Whistling a little bit less. That's always interesting to me, you know, why it does that. But anyway, that's going to be it for this one. The Dentron MLA 2500 with all the band, ham band stuff in it and, and key. Um, and we're gonna do another one on this one without the ham band stuff in it, mono band it, because actually um, we're gonna switch the tubes around and this one does a little bit more, you know, with the same drive, save everything in it because I'm gonna turn this bad boy off. Um, all the ham band stuff and the long route that it takes to uh, to route this power, you're losing some of it, whereas being mono banded um, it's more direct and it's a little bit more efficient and less loss but anyway that's gonna be it for the um, Dentron MLA 2500 by the way this is on 110 um, they would do a little bit more if I put them on 220 but um, I'm thinking most people don't have 220 and it just makes it a lot more convenient uh, to run these guys on 110 plug and play all right, that's it for this one. Bye.